Good day, kids. I am recording this video as our video lecture for January 12th, Wednesday for English and CM. Let's start our day with a prayer. Eyes on your screen. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord, as we say, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty Father, we praise and glorify you. We thank you for this day. We ask forgiveness for our shortcomings and mistakes. We ask that you bless us with knowledge and understanding as we study our lessons today. Help us to become obedient to our teachers and to be caring and respectful to our classmates. Be with us, O Lord. Inspire us, keep us safe, and lead us to be more like you. Heal those who are sick and sustain us through this pandemic. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. This we ask through the mighty name of Jesus and intercession of Mary and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good day, kids. I hope you're doing well. As you watch this video, you need your whiteboard, marker, and eraser for answering or you can also use your paper and pencil. Before that, let's have a review. What is a verb? What can you see on your screen? Jump. Jump. Say it again twice. Very good. Can you stand up? And let me fix my camera. Okay. Can we jump five times? Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Next. Run. Run. Say it twice. Very good. Let's run in place. Within 10 counts, ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. And the last one, do you like to do this? Play. Play. Say that again twice. Very good. A verb is a word that tells an action. A verb tells what we do. Can you read the, the, the meaning of a verb again? While well, I point to the word. Very good. Like what we did, right? Okay. For regular verbs, we have four rules. And let's review our rules. Rule one, we add ED. Rule number two, if a word ends with E, we add T. T, very good. What's our rule number two again? If a word ends with E, we add D. Good job. Third rule, if a word and in consonant Y, and the letter before it is consonant as well, we remove Y and change it to I-E-D. Again, if a word ends with Y, we change it to I-E-D. Good job. Rule number four, if a word ends with a consonant and the letter before it is a vowel, we Write the last consonant once more and we add E 
T. Again, if a word ends with a consonant and the letter before it is a vowel, we write the last consonant once more and add E T. Very good. Now, you need your whiteboard and marker. Please write the letter of the correct answer. Let me read the sentence. Miranda walked fast to buy at 7-Eleven. Can you please read the, read the sentence again? Write the letter of your answer, A or B. You have 10 counts. Can you show your guardian or your parent your answer? The correct answer is B, walked with Edie. Let's go to the next one. Carlo jump as high as he can. Carlo jump as high as he can. Can you read the sentence, please? Go. Very good, A or B. Very good. Now, can you show your answer to the person beside you? If you have someone there. If not, I hope you answered correctly. The correct answer is A. Very good. Next. Think if I cry because she was so hungry. Think if I cry because she was too hungry. Okay. Can you read on your own now? Go. Very good. Write your answer, A or B. The correct answer is B because cry ends with Y. So we change Y to I, E, D. This is the last one for our review. Listen carefully. Patrick was tired. He blank on a hike this morning. Patrick was tired. He blank on a hike this morning. A, go. B, went. Or C, goes. A, B, or C. Write your answer. And the correct answer is B. Patrick was tired. He went on a hike this morning. Good job. Okay, I hope you watch the story in the DC Papa. Please get the moon for me. We're going to discuss the story for English and CLE. But let's have CLE first. Okay, let's have CLE. What happened first? A. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. Or B. The moon looked so near. One, can you copy one, the word, the letters, copy the line as well, and the number, two, and the letters, and the line for the missing letter. You need to copy the number, the letters, the blank, and the letter again. You need to write the missing letter as well. Copy everything that's written here, and also... You need to write the letter of your answer. What happened first? After writing the missing letter here, 
we need to write the letter. Which came first, A or B? Which came second, A or B? Copy everything that I circled. Write the missing letters. Write the letter of your answer after the word first and second. And show your answer to the person near you. You have 20 counts. Start now. I hope you are done answering. If not, you can pause this video to answer. Okay, what's the missing letter here? First, it's S. And two, second, it's O. The correct answer here, first one is letter A. And the second one is B. Okay. I hope you're correct. Check your answers. I hope you have enough space on your whiteboard. Okay, let's go to the next one. C. Papa got a very long ladder. Can you please read letter C? Go. Letter D. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Can you read letter D? Very good. Copy number, the letters, and write the missing letter and the letter of your answer, which came the third one in the story and the fourth. 20 seconds starts now. Okay, I hope you're done. If you're not yet done, pause this video. Okay, third, what's the missing letter? It's I. And which came third, C or D? It's letter D. Fourth, what's the missing letter? You're correct. It's you. I hope you're correct. Okay, and fourth one is D. Okay, let's analyze. D, but no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. And the fourth one, Papa got a very long ladder. Monica wants to get the moon. Maybe because she likes to play with it. Or how about you? What do you think? Why does Monica want to get the moon? And then that's why when she told her papa that she wants to get the moon, Monica's papa thought of something. He thought that he need to give this to his child, to Monica. That's why he looked for a very long ladder. Okay, third D, e, fourth C. Let's continue. Next, E. Every night, I get a little smaller, said the moon. Can you please read letter E? Go. Very good. F, I have the moon for you. Your turn. Please read. Very good. Which came? The fifth and sixth. Copy everything and write the letter of your answer. Okay, very good. Let's see. What's the missing letter for the word fifth? It's letter H. Fifth. And which came the fifth one? It's 
E. Very good. And sixth. What's the missing letter? It's X. It's F. And you know what? I have a question. I was wondering why did the moon told Papa that when it is smaller, it's the time that Monica's Papa can get the moon. If you are the moon and somebody wants to get you, would you tell that person that it would be easier for him to get you when you're smaller because you're not you're not that heavy anymore? Because if I'm the moon, if I knew that someone wants to get me because he's, he told me himself, maybe I won't tell that person that he can get me when I'm not too big because I'm not too heavy. Because I don't want someone to get me. But it's not stated in the story. But maybe that's why the moon was wanted by Monica. Because the moon is nice. Okay. That's just my opinion. Okay. How about you? If you're the moon, would you tell that person, Monica's papa, that? You can get me when I am small because I'm not too heavy. Okay, let's clear everything. Let's go to the next one. G. Then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. H. She hugged the moon and threw it into the air. Okay, can you please read letter G? Very good. Letter H, please read loud and clear. Very good. Copy everything. Seventh A, write the letter after the word. Start now. Pause this video if you're not yet ready and start it again when you're done. Okay, what is the missing letter for the word seventh? Sev. Very good. And which is the seventh? It's letter H. Very good. The, when the moon got small or smaller, Monica danced happily and threw the moon into the air. And the last one is eight. Very good. It's I. And it's letter G. Very good. I hope your answers are correct. Check your answers. You can copy the correct answer also. And I have a few more questions. Okay, did you learn anything from the story just by looking at the picture? If yes, can you tell me your answer? Okay, and I just want to share. Okay, I learned. Okay, I have a few more questions and I'll tell you later what did I learn from the story. Okay, would you like to have the moon for yourself? Yes or no, and why? For me, it's nice to have the moon for myself, but I think I wouldn't want to have the moon just for myself because I don't know where would I put the moon because it's too big. And I am, I am happy just by looking at the moon up in the sky. I like looking at up in the sky when the moon and the stars are bright, especially when there are so many stars up in the sky. It's nice to watch a, by afar. It's nice to watch afar, especially when it's a cold, cold night. 
Yes. Okay. Three. What would you like to tell Monica, the character in the story, if you were friends with her? How about you? What would you like to tell Monica? Imagine that I am Monica. Would you tell Monica? Will you tell me? Monica, don't get the moon. You need to share the moon. Or that's nice. Monica, come on. Let's play with the moon together. Come on. Let's dance and throw the moon up in the air like a frisbee. Would you tell that to Monica? And I think I have learned that even if I want something like Monica, I can tell my parents or somebody and that person have a choice, has a choice to get that something for me or to say no to me because I think if I am Monica, it's nice to have the moon, but if I am Monica's papa, maybe I will say, Monica, I can't get the moon for you because it's impossible to get the moon. The moon is up in the sky. I am not an astronaut to be able to get to the moon and it's too heavy. Or if I am Monica's papa, I will say, you don't need the moon to play with. You have friends, you have your cat, you have your, you have your other friends, you have me, I can play with you. If I'm Papa, okay, so I have learned that not everything you want in life you get, or even if you're an, a kid, you're an adult, or an adolescent, okay, not, ev not everything we can eat, not everything we can buy, not everything we can get, okay. That's what I learned. How about you? And I am. I also learned that Monica's papa is nice because even if it's impossible to get the moon, he really thought of something. He really thought of a solution to the problem, even if it's impossible because he's a dad, right? Like what your parents do for you. Okay, so I hope you feel blessed, you feel thankful, you feel grateful, and you feel happy when your parents are working hard for you, giving you food, shelter, and everything that you have. So a, li a little thank you, a simple hug, a simple kiss will be nice, and saying I love you as well, okay? For English, I have these questions. Who are the characters in the story? Look at the picture. Who's that? I think that's Monica reaching for the moon and her papa and the cat. So there are four characters, Monica, papa, cat, and moon. Okay, who are the four characters again? Very good. Next, where did the story take place? A, outside of the house. B, inside of the house. Get your whiteboard and marker. Write the letter of your answer, A or B. Okay. It's happening outside of the house, but of course, Monica stayed inside of the house first and so the moon. So I guess A and B are correct, are both correct. We can say both inside and outside of the house. Next question. At what time of day did the story happen? A, morning, B, afternoon, or C, night? The correct answer is C, night. Why? What's your proof that it happened at nighttime? A, 
because there's the moon and B, there are stars and C, it is dark. Good, next, what does Monica like to have? What is or are the problems of the characters in the story? Again, what is she reaching for? So she likes to have the moon. So that's the problem. Monica wanting the moon. And it's very hard. Another problem is it's the moon is too big. So it's too heavy. That's the problem of Monica's papa. Good. Okay, again, what's the problem in the story? Monica wanting the moon and the moon being heavy as her papa's problem. What did Papa do to get the moon if it's too heavy? How did the characters solve their problems? Look, what's that? Can you see? That's a ladder, yes. It, Monica's Papa got a very long ladder and placed it over the high mountain. And he tried to get the moon just for Monica. See, her Papa really wants to give her the moon even if it's so impossible. This is just a story. I don't think that it can be real because some of your classmates said that the moon is part of the solar system. The moon is part of the universe that they, we need to be an astronaut to get it, but it's too heavy. Because, that's why we can't really get it, okay? The next question, how did the story end? Did any of the characters change his or her behavior? Look at Monica. Where is she looking at? Why is she looking at the moon? Did she return the moon? Did she keep the moon for herself? Where's the cat? Where's Papa? And did Monica slept already? The story ended happily because Monica returned the moon. Because when it got smaller, it disappeared. Really, it disappeared. She didn't return it up in the sky. It just disappeared. Yes. And maybe Monica thought that being greedy or wanting something for yourself it's not so nice because we can share the moon because the moon is the source of what? Light at, during night time. Okay, this is the last. These words are part of the story. Can you please read? Climbed. Climbed. Say it twice. Very good. Do you need your whiteboard and marker again? Kindly get your whiteboard and marker. I have a few questions. How did the man climb? Can you complete the sentence below? Copy, the man climbed blank. You need to add more words to make a sentence. The man climbed blank. Write nicely, start with a capital letter and end the sentence with a period. You have 30 seconds to write a sentence. The man climbed blank. the mountain. What's your sentence? Can you tell me? Okay, very good. Let's go to the next one. Reached. Say it again. Reached. What was the girl reaching for? Look at her. The girl reached blank. Make a sentence. The girl reached blank.
Okay, the girl reached for the stars. The girl reached for the moon. The girl reached for her dreams. It's up to you. You, need, you can make a sentence, not about the picture. Any sentence will do. Okay, you may erase your sentences if you don't have enough space. Let's go to the third word. Danced. Danced. Say it twice. Very good. Can you dance? Can you show me how to dance or some movements? Okay, how did the girl dance? Gracefully, happily, the girl danced. The girl danced, complete the sentence. your sentence maybe uh like this the girl danced gracefully the girl danced happily the girl danced while wearing her ballerina costume okay very good nice sentence okay erase and let's go to the last word stretched stretched okay can you please say it again? Twice. Very good. What body part or parts was the woman stretching? The woman stretched her. Make a sentence. Start with the woman stretched her. Then add some more words. Start now. <laughs> The woman stretched her arms or the woman stretched her body every day. The woman stretched her arms, hips, and legs to be fit and healthy. Okay, very good. You may erase everything. Close your marker. And I hope to see you next week i hope you are better and see you next week bye for now thank you for watching